we are now going to write a linear depreciation equation. And we've seen these before. But we're going to explore them in a little more detail now. So the idea is you buy something at some value, and you want that item, whether it's a car, a computer, or a printer, you want it to last for some time before you buy a new one. And so companies will spend however much money they're going to spend, whatever deals they can work out with the seller. And then they decide, we're going to keep this piece of equipment for seven years, for five years, for ten years. And they figure out how much it's worth to them based on losing the same amount of money each year so that it starts at its high value and it ends at year T. Now let's actually use N at zero dollars when they trade it in and get a new one. And that way they look at this as a net gain because they get some value from the trade in. But to them, they want a new one, so it's not worth the old one's not worth anything to them. And so we build a little graph like this, where we have value over here, and we have years or time over here, usually in years. And so it starts high and it loses a little bit each time, so that periodically, and it, it'll do this in even chunks. So it's always dropping by the same amount each time. That it every year it loses that value. So the problem we're going to look at is a new manufacturing machine. So it's purchased for $1,200,000 total dollars. That's how much it's worth to them that first year. But for tax purposes, the company chooses to depreciate that machine using a straight line method over a 20-year period. So the depreciation works out as the total cost divided by the time, 20 years. And so we divide. So we have 1.2 million because 120,000 divided by 2 is 60,000. So this is how much it depreciates. Remember, depreciation is subtraction because it starts high and then it drops low. So it's going to start, part A, is going to start so that the value of the machine is equal to the 1,200,000 it starts at. And we're going to subtract 60,000 times X because it's going to be used for X years. So this is our answer to part A, right here. Now we can look at B, where it wants to know what is the book value of the machine after three years. Well, let's plug three in. So V equals 1.2 million minus 60,000 times three. Well, that's one... 0.2 million doesn't change. 3 times 6 is 18. Add the 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros and subtract. So I have 180,000 minus 200,000 leaves 20,000, but we didn't borrow anything, so we're at $1,200,000 after 3 years. And we got that by plugging in the 3 and seeing what it is that we got. So evaluating it and getting our result. C is asking about the V-intercept line. So if we were to graph this, we'll just do a very basic graph. We have this point here and we have this point here. This is our V-intercept because it's on our value line. And the economic meaning of this V-intercept is that when I'm right here, it means I just bought it and it's worth the maximum amount. But then when it comes down and it crosses our x-axis, the x-intercept is when it's time to sell no one. This is when it has its minimum worth. This is when it's worth nothing to the company anymore and it's time to replace it. One last part to this problem is when will the book value of the machine be 48, 480,000? There we go. Here, instead of replacing the x, we're going to replace the v. 480,000 equals... 1.2 million minus 60,000 X. And we solve for X. So let's subtract the 1.2 million from both sides. 
And so when we do this, let's whip out our calculator real quick. 480,000 minus minus 720,000. That's going to be equal to negative 60,000x. Go back to our calculator, divide that by 60,000, negative 60,000. And we get that x is 12. So this means that when 12 years have passed, the book value will be $480,000. And so this is our straight line depreciation. And it just builds off of this idea of putting in your inputs, getting your outputs, comparing them, and building this per year model. The total divided by the total dollars divided by the total years. And that'll give you how much we lose per year. That's our slope.